Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com. In this video, I'm going to be presenting part three of my four-part video series on Google Drive for 2013. Part one served as an introduction to Google Drive and talked about uploading files. Part two talked about actually composing Google Docs files within Google Drive. This video is going to talk about sharing and collaboration in Google Drive. And part four of my video series is going to talk about file organization and management. The other videos in the series are linked in the description below. So I hope it helps and enjoy. Okay, so here I am in my Google Docs, and we've got a number of documents that we either uploaded or created in the first two parts of this video series. So I'd like to share these documents with a few people. And when we start talking about sharing in Google Docs, there's really two types of sharing. You can either share a file with another Google Docs user, so somebody that uses the Google Docs interface has a Google account and is used to uploading, downloading files, and maybe even composing and editing files in Google Docs, or you can share a file with somebody who does not use Google Docs in the form of an email attachment. So I'm going to quickly cover both of these forms of sharing in Google Drive in this video. So let's first talk about sharing a file with another Google Docs user. So I have this Call of Duty doc as the file name says, but it's a Google Docs file. I can tell by the symbol to the left. That's a review on Call of Duty I wrote a few years ago. But let's say I want to share this document with another Google Docs user. Well, what we need to do is we need to access the Google Docs sharing screen. There's a number of ways to do that as you're using Google Docs, but I find the easiest way is to right click anywhere on the row where the document is located and go ahead and go to the sharing option and then click share again. In a few minutes when we share this document with somebody who doesn't use Google Docs, we're actually going to click the email as attachment option. But for now, I'm just going to click share. And you'll see that we get a box that pops up and it shows us everybody who has access to this document. So by default, it's a private document and the only person that has access is me, in this case, Aaron Alexander, that's the name I put on this test account. But if I want to share this document with somebody else, I can go ahead and I can add them in the add people section below. So let me just type in my other email address here. Say I want to share this with AntonA4 at gmail.com. You'll notice that to the right, I have an option of giving the person either edit permissions, comment permissions, or just view permissions. So you have three levels of uh, file permissions here. You can either just make it so the person can only view the file, can't make any changes, can't make any comments. You can make it so the person can read the file, can't change any of the actual text within the file, but can add comments to that particular document as I showed in part two of this video series. Or you can give them full permissions to edit and make changes to the document. Remember, if you do that, you can still use the revision history feature of Google Docs that I talked about in the last video to see who made changes, when they made changes, and revert back to an older version of that document before they made changes. Um, so once you pick the option that you're comfortable with, you can go ahead and you can allow them to be notified via email. Um, that's usually a good idea unless they already know the document is going to be shared with them. You could add a little message. So you could say, here is the document I said I would send. And you've got a few other small options. You can send a copy to yourself. That's just if you want to make sure that the document looks OK. You can see what the actual user sees when they receive the email. And you can also paste the item itself into the email. This is helpful if you want the user to be able to quickly read your document without, without actually having to go into Google Docs. They can read your document right from their email. So that's up to you. And you can just go ahead and click Share and Save. Okay. Now that document, first of all, I want you to take a look. And next to this document, it now says shared. None of my other ones say that because I haven't shared any of those documents. Okay, so now that person I shared it with is going to get an email. It's going to say, Anson Alexander has shared this document with you. Click here to open. And they'll be able to open it up and they'll be able to make changes to it. In fact, and I, unfortunately I can't show you this right now, if I have this document open and the person I shared it with has this document open and they were typing, I would see their cursor and I would see the letters as they type them. 
So this is real-time document collaboration. In fact, they would actually be listed over here on the right so I could see that they were viewing it at the same time that I'm viewing it. Um, so we can edit documents in real time all over the world. You could have somebody in Japan and somebody in the United States editing a document at the exact same time. Maybe they're on video chat on their iPads next to each other and it's like you're working with that person in, in real time. So a uh, very cool feature there. So I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this document. Uh, I want to also let you know that you can change sharing permissions at any time. So just because you give somebody edit permissions or view permissions does not mean that that's the way it is forever. You can actually change that. So if I right click on this document again, go to the sharing section, you'll see my list pops up. Here's the person I shared it with. I could go ahead and I could change their permissions. I could even make them the owner. Maybe I want to get rid of the file out of my Google Docs, but somebody else needs to have access. I could make them the owner and then remove it from my personal Google Docs. Um, so you've got a lot of options there. So now I want to talk about the second form of sharing within Google Drive, and that is sharing a file or document with somebody who doesn't use Google Drive. So I'm going to share the same document, and notice it's in Google Docs format, and I'm choosing this file specifically because if we want to share a Google document with another Google user, that's fine. They can open up their Google document, they can see it online, they can edit it and do whatever they need to do because they have a Google account. However, if we're sharing this document with somebody that doesn't use Google Docs, we actually need to convert this document for them or they won't be able to edit it or even view it. So in order to do that, I'm going to right click on this document. I'm going to go to share again, but this time I'm not going to click the second share. This time I'm going to hit email as attachment. And when I do that, you'll notice a similar box pops up, but it's a little bit different than before. We have a few other options than we had. And the first option is the most important one. We get to choose the format of the file that we want to attach to the email. So we can choose HTML, which is internet language. You probably won't want to do that. Open office document. PDF you might want to do. That's definitely a very common file type. Rich text and plain text you probably won't have to do. And then, of course, you have Microsoft Word. So I'm going to attach this as a Word file. I can go ahead and I can type in the email address that I want to send it to. I'm actually just going to send this to myself. By default, the subject is going to be the title of the document. You could go ahead and change that if you wanted to. And then you can, again, add a message. So I can say here is the document I said I would send. Again, I could send a copy to myself if I wanted to. And then when you're done, you can just hit send. So now if I actually go to my email, second to load. You'll notice I now have a new email. It says Call of Duty Review. I can see it has an attachment and if I open it up, here is my Call of Duty doc. I can go ahead and I could download that and open it up in Microsoft Word. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now, but I will tell you that most documents will convert correctly. If it's just a text document like a letter to somebody or this review, it will convert absolutely perfectly. The times that some documents can get a little funky when uploading them and converting them from or to Google Docs is when you've got a document that has a very specific header, you know, certain margins like 1.2 inches. Uh, resumes, for example, when they have a fancy letterhead, sometime those, sometimes those documents can change a little bit when they're being converted into, in or out of Google Docs. But for the most part, your documents will convert perfectly. So that's how you can share a document with somebody who doesn't use Google Docs. Now, I shared this Google Docs file, but I easily could have just shared my AntonAlexLogo.jpg. I would have done the same thing. Right-click, go to share, and I could email it as an attachment, or I could just share it um, with another Google Docs user. Now, before I move on to the last aspect of sharing, and that's really shared folders in Google Docs, I also want you to notice that there is another option under the share menu and that is email collaborators so this call of duty document I've already shared this with somebody maybe we're both working on this and then all of a sudden I get an important update about the game or about something happening in the news I could right click on this document I could go to share well they've already received the document but I just want to notify them about something so I could say email collaborators and I can choose all the people who this document is shared with that I want to send a message to. So maybe I do an important update on the document, I could let everybody know. So that's a very useful feature as well. The last aspect of sharing in Google Drive that I want to talk about is shared folders because so far we've been sharing individual documents. If I want somebody to have access to this Call of Duty document, I share it with them. But what if I have 100 documents that I want shared with the exact same group of people? It's going to be kind of tedious to go into each document individually and share it with the group of people I want to share it with. So what we can do is we can create a shared folder. 
and I'm going to talk about more I'm going to talk more about creating folders and organizing your files in the next video in this series but I do want to touch upon shared folders real quick because it is an important aspect of collaboration in Google Docs so to create a folder I'm just gonna hit this big red create button and again I'm gonna go over this again in the next video so you know don't worry too much if you can't keep up with with every little thing here but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a folder I can call this folder whatever I want I'll just call it shared for the purpose of this tutorial and you'll notice that if I now click under the my drive section I have this folder called shared now I want this folder to be shared with some people so I need to right click on the folder and I'm gonna to go to the same share menu as I went to on an individual document I'm gonna click share again and now I can go ahead once this little box pops up here I don't know where, where it went there it is it took a second I can now go ahead and I can invite some people so I'll invite the same person I did before instant for gmail.com I'll give him edit permissions I'll hit share and save and now what I can do is instead of having to go to each one of these documents and share it I can just let's say I wanted to share this test drawing document I could just drag it into this shared file you'll notice that it now says share next to it I can right click and take a look at the sharing settings of this file and you'll see it's shared with Anton Alexander but I didn't have to individually go in and share that with him all I did was move that file to a folder that is shared with him so every file I put in this shared folder is going to is going to inherit the permissions of that folder and be shared with everybody that the folder is shared with so there is a ton a ton of potential for sharing and collaboration in Google Docs it works great for organizations that are in remote locations they might have multiple locations scattered across the world where you can keep all of your documents in one place um, and you can work at them in the exact same time so I hope, hope this tutorial helped stay tuned for my next tutorial on the final one in the seri series on file organization and management in Google Docs that's all I have for you today this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com <laughs>